All right, everybody. So before we start this video, I want to tell you guys I am actually starting a new series on my channel where you guys can actually recommend me fighters or tell me what fighters to showcase. Just leave it down in the comments and I promise I will get right back to you and I will make a video on that character. So the first showcase somebody actually wanted me to do was on Mark DeCasey. And this is going to be a pretty good challenge, but I definitely want to show you guys how to play him. Now the video can start. All right, everybody, today we're going to be showcasing Mark DeCasey and I'm going to be telling you guys how to use him. So this is actually somebody actually wanted me personally to show him how to play mark the case let's go ahead and get in straight into these stats so mark the casey obviously you want to strike with him so if you really look at his stand up it's actually pretty decent it's actually not bad um really decent good kick really good kick uh kick power and kick speed and um decent punch power and decent decent punch speed now the thing with mark the casey is that he does not have the best health stats as you can see right here but they're good enough to where you can kind of get a you can kind of do a little bit with them so um i'm definitely going to be showing you guys how to use him and let's get straight into the video all right let's go ahead and see this let's go ahead and see this that's literally tony ferguson's right all right anyway all right so basically mark the casey oh he's he picked volk i didn't even notice all right so bear with me guys i haven't played that was crazy lag i haven't played in a long time so he's backing up So he's backing up a lot. So what we're gonna do is basically this is what this is what he's comfortable doing. This is what he's comfortable doing, just backing up. And this is actually crazy. It's crazy that he's backing up with Volk. Like Volk is a really a fighter that you really need to move forward with. Yeah. Yep, he just backs all the way up. Why is he doing that? Why is he so why is he so scared? What are you scared of? That's what I want to know. What on Mark the Casey are you? What is Mark like? What is on him that you're scared of? And we're really working that combo simply because he's just backing up, bro. So we have to use our longer range strikes. He's giving us. I made a TikTok about this. He's giving us the space to throw the longer range strike. So why not throw him? But like I said, don't make him too predictable, you know. So right now we're just we're basically just using our punches to set up our kicks, basically. Since our punches are not the best, we're going to use the punches to set up kicks. Okay, give me that leg. Let's kind of work every single aspect of his body. Because, but mostly, but mostly, but mostly his body health. And um, attacking that stamina. Because we do not have the best health stats like I, like I keep saying, so... Why does he keep he keeps flashing that jab cross high kick? And that is one of the most dumbest combos to throw in the game. You see, I feel like he's still trying to throw it. It's turning into a body kick. Oh, now you want to throw the upper, huh? Now you want to throw the upper. Okay, give me that leg. He's going high low now. Boom. So that should catch him. Boom. I'm sorry, guys. I keep looking to the left. I'm, I'm expecting a call. But y'all know the grind don't stop. Okay, so now we can kind of tee off with punches since we're closer to him. There's no point of using kicks up. Well, rage quit with Alexander Volkanovsky at lightweight. 100 cardio. Let's get into the next one. All right, so now we are going against a Gilbert Burns. Now, a Gilbert Burns... Um, Gilbert Burns at lightweight, I believe. I don't know if they fixed him or not, but um, he actually has like crazy punch power and punch speed at this weight class now. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. So, hey man, let's just see what we can do. I'll just take that call later. I'll just take that call later. All right. So no glove touch. That's fine. So with Gilbert Burns, we don't want nothing to do with his hands. Yo, does this do good? We don't want nothing to do with those hands. But we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna be afraid to punch. Definitely not. We're not gonna be afraid to punch. And we do have a four star flying knee, I believe. Oh. Sorry guys, bear with me. I haven't played in a few days, so bear with me. Bear with me on my reflexes and counters. 
but it's good that i'm going against players who are not really doesn't really know no let me not say that let me not underestimate my opponent he can hit me with a y'all y'all and put me to sleep especially with this with an 89 chin yeah let me let me stop okay so he's going high low which is actually something we want him to do and it's lagging again by the way guys i have nothing downloading in the background nothing like i have nothing oh okay so he backed up pretty far so that already tells me something tells me that he's lagging okay so he's one of those players if it will stop lagging if he's one of those players that like to get his damage off like get his nice little one two few combo in and then back up you see that boom okay so he wants me to move with him I can already tell based off when I when I stop moving, he stops moving. So he wants me to move with him. Okay. You crazy. You crazy. Spinning kick. Boom. Do I have a glitch? No, we don't. We have a spinning heel. It's getting bad. It's getting bad for Gilbert. It's getting bad for Gilbert. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Good night. So, off of this, these two fights alone, I think you guys are starting to get get the hang of what Mark DeCasey is like. You know, you want to use a lot of kicks, and you basically basically want to use a lot of your punches to set up of his set up his really really good kicks, basically. And so, hey yo, that was kind of crazy, Mark DeCasey. That was kind of crazy, buddy. That was kind of crazy, buddy. But um, yeah, let's get in like, let's get in, like one more with him, so you can kind of still get the gist of how to play him. You know what, basically what punches to throw and stuff like that. Now, respect to this guy for actually picking um, Dan Hooker. This is actually going to be a really, really good fight because you know um, we have two different play styles. You know, so uh, yeah, he's more of a boxer. Obviously, I'm more of a kickboxer. So this is actually going to be a really, really good fight. So. Going against a player, I mean, a fighter that has a longer range and that wants to sit at range with us, we're definitely going to use a lot of kicks. We're going to definitely use our leg kicks also because I don't think Dan Hooker has the best leg health. And, um, yeah, so let's just see how this goes, man. Let's just see. So, yeah, we're definitely going to work the jab. Cause yeah, we don't want to really get into that. You see how you see how already we're into that boxing and we're already getting hurt. Okay, so that's smart to to work leg kicks also to make us to make us try to forget about our own leg kicks. Cause when you throw a punch, sometimes the opponent forgets about throwing it, and then they start thinking about defending it rather than throw rather than throwing it. If that makes sense. Okay, so he's throwing a lot of leg kicks, which is not going to be too smart later down the line. Because I'm definitely going to start checking most of these. And I don't think Dan Hooker has the best leg health. Okay. Okay, you see that? Whoa, just the old Leo de Machitas. Whoa, whoa, relax. Relax. He's putting up a pretty big punch rate. He's putting up a pretty big punch rate. He needs to stay calm and recover, bro. He's throwing a lot. And that's gonna put that's gonna get him put to sleep. Him throwing that much. With Dan Hooker, a fighter that you're really supposed to pick your shots with. Yeah, he's gonna get put to sleep playing like this. Or get one of his legs took in. No, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. The same combo is hitting him. So we're going to keep throwing it. Boom. You can definitely throw leg kicks in a pocket. It's not recommended, but you definitely can do it. Because why not? Boom. Just working the jab, basically. Yeah, he's just... He's just throwing that cross. So what we're going to do, we're going to start slipping that cross. Throw it. Ooh. 
through a hook. Okay. Leota Machida. So now I'm already seeing. I'm already seeing something. So at range, when he's backed all the way up, he's gonna throw something high. Whoa, relax, Dan Hooker. Yo, this Dan Hooker does not wanna he does not wanna calm down. Boom, this Frankie's gonna send him to the gooch. I already knew it. I already knew it. He's putting up such a high punch rate. Boom. He's gonna come right back in. Front kick. I kick. He's coming in with them knees. You already know what I do to people who throw them knees, man. Yeah. I wouldn't even be surprised if he quit the game. I really wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. His head health is is messed up. His leg is starting to hurt. So yeah, it's getting it's getting pretty bad for him. Health wise, actually. I think we outstriked him too. Yeah, we did. Bad. Yeah, that left leg is mine. Yeah, and his health help. I said his health health. I'm sorry, y'all. I just woke up. So bear with me on my English. Do we have an oblique? We do. We definitely can work the oblique then. We have a lead and rear oblique. Ooh, that's perfect. The obliques in this game are broken, guys. Please use them. Make sure you use them a lot. You can literally throw them in the pocket and you'll hit your opponent. They're really cheesy. Look at that. They're really cheesy. Look at that. Boom. Give me that body. I really should have went to the head. I was thinking about it. Good night. I was thinking about going to the head, but. Boom. We actually catch him. See, bro. All right. So he's going to move in and we're going to catch him with the spinning heel. Boom. Good night. Oh. It was almost good Betty buy for him. It was almost Betty buy. Good night. Come on, get back up, Dan Hooker. Give me that leg. Give me that leg. Give me that leg. It was a matter of time anyway. It was a matter of time. But yeah, we definitely got some pretty good games with Mark to Casey. I just wanted to use them because somebody actually wanted me to use them. And like I said, I'm starting a new series on this channel where. If you guys put in the comments who y'all want me to showcase, I will do it. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be CM Punk. No, actually, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. It could be Francis. It could be Derek Lewis. It could be anybody. Leave it in the comments. All right, love y'all. See y'all in the next video.